<sighs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, so uh, in the last part um, we um, went through the sewers, uh, we've ended up, we came across, it's so loud in here, I'm going to get in here. Oh. We came across a gripper. Uh, he was being tortured, I guess. Oh, I'm not getting there. Uh, uh, Gripper, who was being tortured, uh, which was lovely, uh, and he has asked us to find a note from someone to deliver to him. Uh, Johan Vaya, I think it's called. Alright. To deliver it to him, uh, to help him out or something, give him some advice. Uh, we also need to find two parts of uh, orbs that are scattered, or shattered, rather. Whoa, what's in here? Maybe, uh, can't I not look at that? Smooth hemispherical depression. So, so something needs to go in there. It could fit an orb. So I need to find the orb. Right. We continue our search. Yeah, really liking this game. Uh, as I said in the last part, it's it's kept up a suspense and a like an atmosphere. And a constant Is feeling of dread. If so, blame yourself. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you! How dare you, Daniel? I'm so offended. Mysterious. I can hide behind here, that's interesting to know. Hi. Is there anything else I need in here? I ended up down here, but... Okay, nothing in here. Um, carpet. All right, been down there. That's the orb chamber. Wait, what was down here again? That's right, some machinery. And I picked up some tar from down here, I think. Get off my screen! Uh. Alright, maybe let's go back down here. the nave. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate.
Oh, that was nice. Game's been a freaking douche. Right, I don't need to go to the chancel. Well, that wrecked my sanity. Thanks for that. Jar of oil. How much oil have I got left? Yeah, that's fine. I am the prison warden. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in a dim haze. They may sweep the traces from my memory. But my body remembers. These cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Oh, they will be back. Nice sweet bit of meat there. Yeah. Is there a monster in here? Dad, good to see you. Who, me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. I was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead heart for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. to throw this in there. Alexander, really? No. You never heard of Johann Meyer? My god boy, he's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world who has forgotten him? Hey bro. Doesn't need that. Just need this. Had not been plundered. Do you know Mithraism? I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing, building temples out of a cavern. The dark walls being the universe, and inside are its followers. Humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection to creation. Oh. 
A grappa, you're gonna tell me what to do. This guy chats loads of bunk. Do something. But unlike every other finder since the fall of the society, what did I do then? No, don't kill her. What am I doing? Lab. Oh, I can't get in there. All right, let's go back to the let's go back to the chancel. See what's what's cracking in there. Wait two sex. I do I do wonder if there's something we need. To, oh shit! Ah. In here. Is there anything I need to? Anyway, right. Uh, so let's go back to the chancel. Right, I need to find some orb pieces. Pieces of orbs, so I could get on. Find her. Find her. So I, I turned that machinery on. I'm, I'm just wondering what it did. If it actually did anything at all. But there were all pieces somewhere scattered around and I haven't found one yet, so I'm, So that's good. Remember, there were two levers back here that were, they didn't work. Maybe they were for the two doors. Right, let's go back and have a look. Ah, you again. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. I'm not sitting around. A cheeky get. I remember this bit now. Yes, yes. Nice, nice music for a disturbed mind. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Shh. I'm going. I don't care what you say. Ah, you again. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could. Shh. A 
Agrippa channels Via. Via talks to me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts and he still insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in the seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Via claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but he but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of, I have seen their deception. Optimism is a mo most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it, I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Via told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae and Tamta. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vita could then be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torch session. A session. Tamta, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kank. Water dwelling Kank. Oh, is that the, the creature that's splishy splashy? I will have to address Rai with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. A mixture made with three ingredients. Ooh, some more laudanum. I wonder if there's any limit to the amount of tinder boxes that you can carry. Because I've got quite a few. Oh, what's this? In court, the Order of the Black Eagles spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cab before gaining their senses. They all knew I'm the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they will, too will grow old and pass away. While I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. Yeah, interesting, yeah. Ah. Great. Ah. Good, a good amount of oil. I got a good amount of oil. Fifteenth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry! No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you! Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain!
Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Crazy. Ugh. Ah, no, I need to go this way. That's the nave, I need to go this way. Crikes! Gross. Absolutely gross. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. What am I meant to be seeing here? Ah. This is the main hall. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. The murderous limbs were tied to spoke to the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with the intent so the ropes could around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He had no longer the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Grim. Ah, oh, it's a piece of orb! Find a piece of orb!
Why? The traitor didn't know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it only when the heat of the fires began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh to realise it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed through the brass chamber and, and travelled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside the man could hear the brazen bull bellow. Oh, this is horrible, isn't it? There's, are there multiple chambers? Right, let's try and put these two together. They won't stay together. down here. Already been here. So we've already been to this one. This was the one with the wheel, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one with the wheel. So I found the old piece from there. How many torture chambers are in this bit? the entrance, so I'm back where I started.
Right, what have we got down here? Nice, laudanum. Uh, do I? I could take a laudanum, I guess. All good. And a slight headache. I'm doing all right, people. I'm doing all right. Oh. Cripes. The forge just stood absolutely still. A casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realise his eye had ruptured and began to leak. Mm. More importantly, where's my orb? Alicia, I'm shutting the door. That is grim. Here it is. Oh, All right, can I put these together now? Is they do they fit now? Uh, okay. Right now, I need to go. I think I think there is. I don't think there's any more. Is there? I reckon Rob's going to come make an appearance. An unwanted appearance. Right. Get out of here. Back to the nave. I did see a door back here, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Back here. Oh, I need a bucket. Okay. I need a, some kind of vessel. No! Oh. Watch your step, Daniel. Where am I? Back under here. Strange. Oh, 
thought I'd lost all my orbs then. I was gonna kick it off. Down here. Don't need my lantern. Don't talk to me, Agrippa. Good to see. I don't care. Looks like you cleaned out quite yeah, it does. It cool, yeah, I'll find all your pieces. Yeah, sure. Pieces. Thanks for the information, but I already know. Yeah, Aegis. Right. Ah, here we go. Oh, no. No, go away! There we are. Stick to the outside. Dragon. Oh. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. All humans have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, then this should not be a problem. But it was also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are therefore to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you're about to apply and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses. If possible, breaks to let the body settle. If you're whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitamins, etc. blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that there will be not for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Amnesia drink. Is you my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become, I am not blind, I am a monster to them. There is a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a plateau. I must remove myself from this land, this time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. And I got some oil, that's the most important thing. Is that all I need from here? Must be. There's nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands hanging on her back. Her hands were lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. There we are. Oh. I'm out of here. It's disgusting. On to the next. That's what this is going to be. on the left. It's crazy. I didn't even want to... Uh, horrible. Let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the... Oh. Didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. That is... Horrible. Okay. Got all my old pieces, so I'm okay. We got our all pieces. I'm going to leave that episode there. Uh, that is Amnesia the Dark Descent. It's absolutely incredible. I do feel like the game is kind of wrapping up now. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I do upload these, these kind of videos daily. And take care and I will see you in the next video.